and welcome everybody back to Desbury Indoor Boards Club for the two semi-finals of the ladies match play singles. We obviously we can only show one, we're not that clever. And the, the game that's landed up on ring six is just by the look of the draw. Features Annie Dunham taking on Kylie Jenkins. First time on the stream for Kylie, it's a second time today for Annie. I'm joined in the comedy box yet again by my little pocket wizard, Jacqueline Anderson. Good afternoon from Utterly Butterly. Utterly Butterly, munching yep. on scampy fries. Not yet. Not yet. Werther's at the moment. Werther's at the minute. Yep. Thank you. So, the other semi final is between Alison Miriam, who you may have seen beat Lucy Smith and Lauren Gowan who you may not have seen beat Gillian Hinsley. But you might have saw glimpses of it. As you can see, the scoreboard needs doing because it's still showing last game. So I'm going to get on with that and I'll leave you in the capable hands of Jacqueline for two minutes. Thank you. Looks like Kylie's holding one there. Just bowled in for two looks at that. Right, I'm back. I hope you haven't been too talkative when I've been off. I've been very <laughs> quiet. Sucking on me worthers. <laughs> I thought you nodded off. Left you in charge of the Starship Enterprise. It <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't work out the buttons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. Man. Oh. oh. There you go. See. Oh, sad. Never mind. Annalise has just picked up shot there. Yeah. Or Annie, she likes to be known. Just to let you know, we are going out on Facebook and YouTube as normal. So feel free, any comments, any twists, any moans, turn off and what have you. Richie's inbox is full. <laughs> exactly. Get your out of office on, don't you? Oh, yeah, I've, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I think Annie's lying one. Yeah. Any Mystic Meg predictions at this stage? Seems you got it wrong last time. Oh, I put the kiss of death on Anne, Anne Eve <laughs> and uh, Bernard last round. She wasn't happy. It was a Chinese burn the dead leg on the way out. <laughs> Is that why you were limping? I was limping, <laughs> uh, yeah. I got a pack of scampi fries, just pretty scrunched them up, so there'd be bits and bobs out of scampi fries. <laughs> uh, That's something I've never tried. So scampi yeah. fries. Kind of what them. So Richie's just bought if you a packet for us to share. Yeah. There you go. So I won't do any. <laughs> don't say I don't treat a lady. <laughs> yep, I got a bottle of water bottle and of some water, scampi fries. fries. But to share, they're not just for me. No, your bottle of water is yours. I'm not sharing <laughs> your water. <laughs> God, I'm not that tight. <laughs> I bet you got it out of the tap. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what happens. Uh, <laughs> 
I filled a bottle up that I'd finished earlier. I apologise if you hear any slurping. <laughs> Jackie doesn't turn her mic off when she has a slurp. Apologies. Uh, you see, right. I can't hear it, so I don't think anyone else can, but I, I assume they can. I think I just, I'll just, I'll just wind you up. <laughs> You're oh, all right. You're a devil. Don't forget my totties next week or stotties or whatever. Stotty cakes. Stotty Two stotty cakes. cakes. I'll, yeah. write, I'll, write this, I'll write that down. Now, yeah, good start here from Kylie. I think both of these haven't been to Potter's before. I'm going to have a stab in it, a stab in the dark. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I, I, I wouldn't say for so sure, but I don't think so. Whereas I think the other semi-final, I, th I think they both might have been, I think Lauren might have been down as well. I think she might have been down once. You see, you need Martin's history, his potted yeah, history we'll of sure bowls. Martin's watching it. He'll, he'll drop us a line. Yep. Let us know, Martin, if you're listening. Has Lauren uh, been to Potter's? Not just for the weekend, of course. <laughs> all this be there and all <laughs> Well, on a good line, Aunt. E. <laughs> yeah, and e. E on. Very close, eh? Looks good. And you get a grab of it. Oh, great oh, yeah. stuff. Nice to see a few people have stopped back. Mainly because we're locking the doors and they're going to get out. <laughs> <laughs> Where would you rather be on a sunny Sunday afternoon than watching know. bowls? Just lovely length and all, Kylie. I don't know nothing about Kylie, whether she's English, Irish, Scottish, or Welsh. Bowls, England, she well, might be English. Martin will be able to give us a bit of uh, general history. He'll be asleep, man. I'll yeah. be asleep on a Sunday afternoon. They've had a big Sunday roast. Sunday roast, yeah. Watch the football. Yeah, they'll be watching Man City playing yeah. Arsenal, aren't they? Oh, not bad. She's on a good line again. <laughs> not bad at all, are you, Annie? Oh, you're very good, are you? Well played. Great stuff. Yeah, well done. Can't we not go and know ourselves here? About my sixth finish, maybe. God. That's not too bad. Early night for you, then, Richie. Early night, five hours. Get back up the road. Is Thank it five you. hours? Uh, Still a late one, isn't I it? I get in about half twelve. Oh, that's horrible. Do you want me to take half the equipment now? <laughs> <laughs> you can take half the mileage if you want. <laughs> you can stop off on our boat if you want to. <laughs> Where are you working out of tomorrow? Off tomorrow. Oh, you're off. Yeah, yeah, off tomorrow. Of this Monday and next Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh I don't know why I'm worried about you then. Yeah, no. Well, I think you're ready to get in second, do you? Oh, it was two. Two, Danny. Set the score correct on ring three now then. So Alice and Marion four. Lauren Gowan three after the second end.
So next weekend we make the trip down here again. An extra two hours drive to Pool, south of France, I call it. Indeed. Uh, for a double header, world singles and world pass. Uh, it should be a great weekend. I think it's a sellout, isn't it? Is it? I think so. I think so. You might get a few drop out maybe at last minute, but I think it's uh, yeah. sold out. Good. needs to get out. That's good enough. Just overplayed that ball. That's a good ball there for Lanny. That straps again early. Mm. Just needs to hit length you know, within again the for three. Certainly put the pressure on. Well played. Not getting back. Needs to get inside. Uh. <coughs> Arsenal. Oh, it is. We've got an invisible guest next to him. I don't know. He had the bike up. <laughs> Could be seen out. He's sat by a bottle of water. Yeah. So, and he's away with a flyer here. When it end four, seven, seven blonk up. Do you want to explain what happens uh, for this? Game? Do, do that one. Okay, so the winner of this game on rink six will play Catherine Rednall in the ladies' world match play and will also play with David Gourley, MBE, in the mixed pairs against Stuart Anderson and Kerry Ann Glenn. Seamless. And uh, rink three? And uh, rink three. So the winner of that game will play Julie Forrest in the Ladies World Match Play and will also play with Paul Foster MBE in the Mixed Pairs against Mark Dawes and Julia Gallo. Expertly done. Thank you. Close again, Anne. Ah, uh, well played. She's on fire. Good right here, they're eating there. <laughs> Even now I've got a moist top lip. 
Oh, this is not bad. Can you hang on half a pound? Oh, Can you hang on? Oh, great try. So I'm going to try one of your scampi fries now, Richie. I'm right. going to go on mute. Right, go on. Give us a review. Do you said that the, they used to turn the side of the mic off when you are scrunching on a scampi fry? <laughs> oh, so I can't have achieve. Ah, right, so here we go. We've got a bit of a an, an early review here for this oh. Smith's Savoury Selection Scampi Fries. They're strange, aren't they? They've got a funny taste. Yeah, but They're very crunchy, which I like, yeah. but they've got a strange... Scampi lemon flavoured cereal snack. Mm. 6,000 calories a bag. Oh, well, you can have those because I think you need them. Yeah, they're not, not really... Um, I love them, they are. Do I, you? I w used to play at Shales on a Friday and used to go about seven bags of them because I was a car driver. You could do with like a little mayonnaise dip or something to put them in. That'd be quite nice. Eileen, no page status didn't win. She was beaten in, the, I'm guessing it might have been the last 16. Because she was on mark in the last round. She was. So, a bit of bother here. Do you run again, Jacqueline? Yeah, probably. No, she's not. She's trying to play clever weight, which if she gets the wrong side of the red ball, she's going to lose three, yeah, which I think is what's gonna going dip. to happen here. It's going to dip. Oh. So, I think that was another two to Annie. Yeah. Nine nil now after four ends. And on rink three, uh, Alison Merrion four, Lauren Gowan four after three ends. We always say in a situation like this, the player that's down just needs to extend the set as long as they can. Give themselves a, a chance to get the pace and what have you. Not worry about what the score is. See if you can get three ends out of this. As the saying goes, never give up. No. See, Mr. Uh, Andy Thompson was here this morning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the notes. Yeah, well played. Give a little bit of heart them too.
A bit of a chance here for Kane. Get under that ball. Good count round it as well. Like breaking into a safe to get that top off that bottle of water. <laughs> I did say to Richie, he doesn't drink enough water, he's dehydrated, sat here all day. Become delusional, <laughs> like it was the last session last night. I had this fear of God that I had two, bloody, uh, two dodgy characters next to us on commentary. <laughs> Not that again. <laughs> oh dear. Your ratings went up, your oh, viewing went up. Did I? Yeah, oh dear, what more do you I need? Know. And we got your toasted sarnie when you, you did, got back to the hotel. And we didn't have to pay for it either. No, we didn't. We got them free. They stopped serving at quarter to ten and we yeah. got there about ten o'clock. Yeah. And I did my puppy dog eyes and said, we're yeah. starving. I said, we just came over on a boat from France. <laughs> and you feed us. <laughs> Fed us to give us a room. <laughs> Stuck it on the seventh floor. <laughs> right, so. Nine to two. We knew end number. Did I open it at the end on that old box? No, I haven't. End number six, sorry. We're slacking. Just enjoying ourselves too much, that's what it ah. is. So you dragged me into it. You're in control. Yeah. Too busy with your scampy fries, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. a chance to get one. Yeah, good start from Colleague. Just to give you a reminder, if you've just tuned in, you're watching the ladies' match to play singles qualifier. Both semi-finals are on. There's no final. Uh, both winners of the semi-finals get golden tickets to Potters into the match play singles. And they get the Brucey bonus of an entry in the mixed pairs where they will play with Paul Foster and David Gawley. Whoa. Has Alison just uh, knocked the wall down there? So this will be our final session of the weekend. And what a fine weekend it's been, Richie. It's been splendid. It has. I mean, I've got to tip my hat off to the club for... Letting us dump, dump my dump my equipment here. Yeah, very good. They've been very very hospitable. If anyone has never been to the Desborough Bowls Club, it's worth a visit. It's a lovely club. We've got good green, good facilities, outdoor rink just next door, lovely bar and catering. Yeah. Uh, facilities for all abilities here, which is great. Great news. I shall come again. I think the open single circuit um, do a bit of a tour here as well. Do they? Mm. She needs to run. Now oh, we'll play it out. Yeah, well yeah great now. shot. Now, there's a lot of people getting a bit concerned. We don't know what, they, what we're actually here for. Well, there we go, the format. Two sets of seven ends, tiebreaker, best of three ends. Anybody that doesn't know that by now, there's a quiz at the end of this programme. <laughs> I 
I'll bet both he gets it wrong. Oh, he don't be, tell you, he'd be a kip in the chair. He'll not be awake. He'll be a kip. He's played this morning. Yeah. He, he's had his Sunday dinner. He'd be a kip, I can guarantee it. Oh, he's a lightweight. Oh, he'd be down South Shield on the bloody uh, the fairground, chucking all the kids off. Is that what he does in his spare yeah. time? Going round Thomas the Tank and <laughs> Well, that's the first set. Yeah. Two to one eight. Eleven two. So the score on uh, rink three with Lauren Gowan six, Alison Merriam four after five ends. <laughs> Alison's laying shot at the moment. Up, and I do believe it's 20 past five, and you can press the yellow button, madam, because we've got another 200 people watching balls wow. on a Sunday evening. <laughs> Thank you, viewers. It's not one for you, you've gone early. Well, I'm just saying thank you. Oh, all right. Well, you've gone early for 2.50. So Annie started off the second set. She started off in the first. Been relentless, hasn't she? Mm. Been relentless. I think her first opponent um, pulled out this morning. Yep. Yeah, she had a roll-up on rink yet. Mm. I think Anshan, on his opponent, um, pulled out this morning. Oh, well played, Kylie. Yeah, that's the winner. Great well ball. Not bad either. This is not bad either. Oh, oh, just gone the wrong way. Just sat down. It's one to Lauren over there. So that will be seven four now after six ends to Lauren Gowan. First set. Are you going to get all? Oh. Cracking head of balls. Well, this is coming down close. This is coming clear run.
Well, same pulling onto our own ball. Must be close for shot, I think. Look a bit undecided. Well, I think she must fancy off a shot. I think we'll get on by her on here. No, just give her one. On by you coming on. Got to tell you, them scampy fries tend to stick to the back of your throat. I'm suffering with that. I only had one. I don't know. They're horrible. Oh, you've turned. You, what a f oh. how fickle are you? <laughs> God, how fickle? What was it? Oh, they're not too bad. They're the smell kind of crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. Uh, <laughs> Twenty minutes later, it's bloody horrible. They get stuck in your nanny, don't they? And you where? Your nanny. What's nanny goat. Uh, I think it's a East End is it? slang. Yeah. Nanny, nanny goat. Nanny goat. It's talking your nanny. Learn new things every day. Uh, yeah, there you go. I'm learning new things every day from you, Richie. <laughs> when you're lathered. <laughs> well, is that two? Uh, just the start you want after losing there. Uh, First set heavily. Did you say seventy five percent statistical analysis? Jason's Jason yeah. statistics if you lose the first set and win the second set, seventy five percent win on the tiebreak. I thought it was seventy five percent win the second set and go on to win the tiebreak. Was that it? Same thing, isn't it? Probably. <laughs> Just the way you said it. You have to say it right. Oh, right. <laughs> you can also wash them at 40 degrees and you get an equal finish. <laughs> uh -huh. ah, even my mum's watching. Is she? Mother Mackay's watching, yeah. She'll, she'll be watching on, on thigh pad. Thigh dad, pad. Me, me dad'll be watching football on on laptop. Oh. Lovely. Hello, ma'am. Hello. <laughs> Your son's behaving himself today. Thanks very much. The wife that's never heard from us. <laughs> <laughs> give her a ring. I'm like, give her a ring. I'll give you a ring in five. <laughs> I've just got that tracker on my phone. That's where I am. Knows where you are. And somebody's pinched the phone. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing in Asda at this time of night? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's he doing in Toulouse? <laughs> Well, just need to run with this. Oh, she's trying. It's a very good effort. Just half a pound on it's probably sat back.
that's a good idea to come up and have a look. Don't yeah, you think, is, Richie? Yeah. yeah. Ask the questions. Yeah. Are you got a problem? So, uh, rink three, Lauren Gowan won the first set. Against Alison Merriam. I don't know whether she's going for cover or she's going to try to draw another one in here. She clears that. Clear that ball here. Clear. Oh, great effort. Tell you what, there's a canny old plant on there. Thanks for the kind words, John. Please, people, enjoy themselves. It's on the line. She doesn't mind it, you know. Or oh, can she? I should send it. It's coming in. I should send it. Look at I this. I should send it. Oh, what a great effort! I think we can safely say that was a safe draw. It was a safe draw, I agree. So uh, he's been playing the same jack length practically all, all of her games. Mats up a couple of feet. Jack's right up. I know it's, it's definitely been a tactic with uh, Southern players base players where they've uh, brought the man up the flag straight away. I mean, I know Lucy, Lucy done it, Scott done it, Sean did it. Well, it must work. There must be something in it. Well, you could say that, but they all got knocked out. <laughs> Lost. <laughs> but yes, it, it did. It, it did catch a lot out. Maybe for the first couple of ends or something. Yeah, but it's just even when they, they lost the the end and they won it again, they mat up, caught them out again. And yeah, he's back well in played. There again. Oh, 
I wonder how Jason's doing this weekend. Have, has anyone heard from him at all? Has he been? Yeah, I think he said uh, quiet. Grant's going to be still in until probably Tuesday. Well, that sounds positive then. If it's it does, yeah. Yeah. That's good news. Big shout out to Alan Thornhill, who stepped in last minute and done a sterling job in here. Come on a bit commentary yesterday, he did. He's very well organised. Just needs to run and possibly fall down. Oh. Can I really tell from that angle? I don't think that angle helps us either. No, it's still hard to tell, isn't it? So on rink three, uh, Lauren Gowan is uh, two nil up against Alex and Marion. After the first end, Allison's holding two currently in the second end. Oh, currently having a run for the ball, so she must fancy she's second. Needs to finish. Needs to finish. Ooh. Oh, she's got it, and they got the result. Has the ball stopped? Yes, I think she's managed to get one out of it at least. Is it one or two? Just one. One. One it was. Well, if you're not up, you don't get it, do you? Shy band's getting out. So Allison's just picked up one shot in the second end. Score now 2-1 to Lauren Gowan in the second set. Lauren Gowan having won the first set. Good start. What are you looking for, Richie? Well, the question is: the light, is the light and fluorescent tubes are LED? Now, I, I would think nowadays they look LED. That they will be LEDs. They'll be LEDs, man. <laughs> Hold on. We'll just turn your mic up so you can never mind doing your master your master or impression. I've turned, I've turned you off there. Yeah, I've turned you off. Yeah. LEDs. So we agree they yeah. look like LEDs. Right. Yes, and we probably think they are LEDs. Well, well I was thinking now with DNA, they, they don't. They'll not put fluorescent tubes in. No. Because I'm sure they're getting fierced out. Oh, 
I would think if you've spent six million pounds, you're not going to stick fluorescent tubes in. <laughs> no, definitely not. I think they were talking about um, the club should have had solar panels when it was built. Um, it didn't happen. No. Um, so it sounds like they're heavily reliant on, on solar panels to keep the cost down. I think all clubs are the same, Richie. Yeah. Mount Mowbray have invested in solar. Oh like right. Solar. They were fitting them last year when I was there, last season. Just doing yourself a haul, are you, Kylie? Three great balls there, well balled. Well done. Interesting to see if she draws or runs there. Port might look good. Well, she's trying to control it. I think she's too wide. If the, if the question on YouTube is if a ball touches another before touching the jack, is it marked as a touch? Yes, it is. Yes, it is, yeah. If that's what you were intending to ask. Big chance for a four, yeah. Yeah, well played, Annie. Yeah, four very good balls. Relentless bowling today. <laughs> Looks like um, Alison may have just picked up through there, through shirts. So, five to three. Well, it's not really. What time is it? It's quarter six. Five three. And Alicia took the first set, eleven two. So we go in end number five. So Alison's now gone for four two up after the third end in the second set. Just picked up three. That's a loose ball from Annie there. Kylie needs to step in. She hasn't. Oh, well done, Alison. Well, another chance for Kylie to step in. Well, it's 
still not enough, I don't think. There's the gaffer gone in. Yeah. This is better. This looks nice. Yeah, well played. To apply. Just floated it out. Don't know whether it's going to come back enough. So, opportunity to grab a, a scrappy two to get it back to level board. On the line, I don't know whether she's going to get out. Only she blows now, though. I think she might just do enough. Yeah, well, there it is. Yeah, that might have just kept her in the game. Five's a pace. Five, five, five. Five, five. High five. High five. High five. Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> Wicked. So, Lauren's just picked up two, and the score on rink three is four, four, four. Four, four, four. Four, four, four. Five, oh. five, five. So, in the context of our game, big end is N6. Kylie would like to grab a couple. This looks like a best start for a few ends. And he's good at filling those gaps though, to be fair, Richie. Commentators curse, you do know. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fact. Here we go. Might have played a one here. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'm right. God. Mystic Meg. <laughs> I played against her today, I know. <laughs> I learned a lot. Another good line coming in here. Oh, well played, Kylie. Great ball. Oh, yes. And I think that's the winner. Need to hang on. Need to hang on. A couple of pound. Probably force Kylie over the other side now. Oh, she likes it. She's having to jog after it. 
Needs to run. Oh. You are down. You are, you are down, down by, by one. one to this bowl here, but it is a measure. I'm not sure about that. You're either ah, down or it's a measure. He's that, um, that fella's got sp spelts in his backside. <laughs> It can't be both, yeah. Well, oh, now, oh, now it could be two. Uh, it is two yeah. now. It's taken the one down measure away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or the one up measure. Oof. Open me for Annalisha. She's got nothing at the back. She's only really got the draw down to her ball. And it's going to have to be an absolute peach. I like a nice peach. Yeah. yeah. Soft, ripe. Yeah. Yeah, juicy peach. Yeah. They're messy, though. Oh, they Well, got a fancy she's going to go for cover here. I was watching this. See if we can catch it popping in an interview in a minute. There we go. Right, what would you do here, madam? Well, Cutting out of the back. I kind of feel that she's going to have a pop at it. Or maybe overdraw weight. Now to the back. It depends if our short ball beats the back ball. Overdraw on the back end. Yeah, trying to draw it. What do I know? On a line, she chucked it. No, it's oh, just gonna dip too early. Yeah. Just in. So, I said it was going to be a big end that one. You were right again, Richard. <laughs> First time today. The last couple of hours. I think Alison's looking at. Uh, Firing the woods off here. Oh, she's missed. I think Alison's just dropped three shots to Lauren Gowan. It takes Lauren seven, four after five ends in the second set. Right. So. Annalisha needs two, having won the first set. Needs a decent start again. Yeah, well played. Do you know what that ball does? Forces Annie onto the other hand. It does. She's been playing the other side. She's been well. playing backhand, yeah. Even when I played her, she, she played her backhand mostly. Seeing that, however, <laughs> shouldn't have shouldn't have forced her on that hand. I said when the ball was coming, shouldn't have forced her on that hand. Worst thing she could have done. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure commentaries for you, Richie? Hey, I don't <laughs> have the idea. Of, yeah, do know what's for me. She well, same again. But that again might just have a bit of a tail on it. Oh. There's a real tussle on rink three. It's a shame we haven't got two sets of cameras. Can I please tussle. everybody, can I? <laughs> well. She's in. 
Not bad. I want to grow. Oh, now she might be two down now. It's just gone. Cool. That might have just uh, left her in a hole here now. Well, I need you I think you're a touch wider. I could I come back in you know, for length. Here she blows, get on the seam. Yep, I think that could be two. It is. So what we have at the minute, we've actually got both semi finals. Lion game at the moment. Lauren Gowan's lion game over your side. And and Alicia Dunham lying game over here. So it's to stop in. Well, she's on a line. I've got a question the It's on a line. She needs a bit DSS. Oh, oh, oh dear me. I think she's just... It's maybe just ran out. I don't know. Yeah, yep, I think it, it is. Yeah. So congratulations to Annalisa Dunham on securing a place down Potters. Tremendous stuff. We'll just hang fire... On the other game, Let's see if I can do some magic with the with the cameras, with the view camera, maybe. Because Lauren's just actually pulled the white back or beyond side. Just go and have a quick see if I can get a a view on this one, folks. For you. so if you can bear with us, there we go. You can just see that. I'm not sure if Allison's holding one. Looks like it, but it's a bit hard to tell. Lauren was lying too. Then she's chilled the jack. Just keep my eye on the score is seven four to Lauren. And it is one, one to Alison. So yeah. I'll, if you stick with us, we'll uh, try my best to get a bit of an angle for this last end, folks. So Alison definitely needs two or more this end to secure a tie break. Not going to be the easiest of you and folks, but. Uh, We'll try. Don't want to nip round to uh, move the cameras because I haven't had the cameras all shift, so I don't want to put them off. Let's see if I can jockey them around a little bit to get a better view. Ball's on the twirl. It'll come into view in a, about a second. There we go. Well played. Well played, Lauren. Trying to get it so the ball comes into the view at the same time as it goes out of view. That's whizzy. Oh, it's, it's, 
too technical for me this now, this time. Well, Lauren's still lying one, which Alison needs a two. Alison's third ball coming up. I don't think she's up. On its way, easy. Yeah, well played. So, last ball of the game for Allison. Needs to magic a two out of this. In fact, she actually needs to magic a three out of this. Because Lauren took the first set. Yes, she did. You're right. So she actually asked, asked to make a three. And I'm just looking over there. I can't see her getting a three out of this. I don't know if both of uh, Lauren's bowls could go. It's hard to tell from this angle. Yeah, it looks along. I, I think the the back ball is the one. If the back ball beats the front ball, but Lauren's ball looks covered up. I know Alison has got a right old rake around her leg, but. Might be another one of these hit and hope shots. I'd come off one in ten. So here we go. Yeah, well, she's playing controlled weight. Oh, I think she's. Oh, she's. Yep, yeah. uh, she's under the ball. So many, many congratulations to Lauren Gowan. Securing a trip to Potters. Uh, just a few quick thank yous before you all go. Thank you to the Desborough Club. Thank you to Jack and Anderson for sitting next to us in the last three games. You're very welcome. Um, many thanks to everybody for your support over the weekend. It's been a very good weekend. We've enjoyed it. We're down pool next week. So if you've got a bit spare time, we'll catch you down there. As always, this has been a Wrong Bias podcast production. And it's a good night from me. And it's a good night from him. Good night. Good night.